Phoebe Carey, a well-known 19th century American poet, was born in Ohio. She and her sister Alice Carey jointly published a successful volume of poetry titled Poems of Phoebe and Alice Carey. After the success of their book, the sisters moved to New York where they wrote prolifically and hosted literary gatherings. Phoebe Carey, apart from writing poetry, also contributed to the newspaper The Revolution, which was known for its radical feminist views. Her notable works include poems and parodies, poems of faith, hope and love, and hymns for all Christmas. The ballad, A Legend of the Northland, narrates the story of how Saint Peter cursed a woman to become a woodpecker because of her greed and selfishness. Here is a summary of the poem, A Legend of the Northland, by Phoebe Carey. The poem is set in an icy region of the north. In this region, the days are short and nights so long and cold that people find it difficult to sleep at night. When it snows, the people of the region harness reindeers to sledges. The children of this land look like bear cubs because they wear clothes made of fur. In this part of the land, the people tell a strange story. While the author finds it difficult to believe in the story, she does feel that one can learn a valuable lesson from it. Saint Peter walked the world preaching the word of God. Once, on his travels, he visited the cold Northland, a region in the North Pole. In Northland, he came upon a cottage. Inside the cottage, a woman was whipping cakes and then baking them on the hearth. A hearth is the floor of a fireplace. Now, Saint Peter was hungry after a full day of fasting and preaching, so he asked the woman for a cake from her store. The woman obligingly made him a little cake. However, when she saw the cake, she thought it was too large to give Saint Peter. So, she made another cake, smaller than the previous one. She again thought it was too large to give away. Finally, she took a little dough and rolled it into a thin bread. But as she took it out after baking, she found it difficult to part with her thin bread. She thought that her cake seemed small when she ate them. However, when asked to give away her cakes, she found them too large. So, she put all the cakes on her shelf. Saint Peter, who was hungry and tired, grew angry. In anger, he told the woman that she was too selfish a human being to deserve food and warm shelter. Then, he cursed her to a hard life of building her own nest and digging through wood to find nourishment. As Peter said these words, the woman lost her speech and transformed into a bird. The scarlet cap she was wearing was all that was left of her clothes. She flew up the chimney as her clothes burned to ashes and came out as a woodpecker. So now, every schoolboy can see her in the wood where she lives to this day, drilling for food. Now, let us take a look at the literary elements of the poem, A Legend of the Northland. The poem is written in the form of a ballad. A ballad is a form of a poem which is often set to music. A ballad is an ideal form for telling stories in a poem. In the poem, Carrie expertly employs the ballad form to narrate the legend of Saint Peter and the Woodpecker. Assonance is a literary device which uses similar vowel sounds in a line. In the poem, assonance is illustrated by phrases like away, away. In the poem, Carrie repeats certain words to state the theme of the poem. By repeating the words like cake, faint, boring, 
she brings out the theme of greed and selfishness. Carrie, through imagery, emphasizes on the exotic setting of the poem. She uses phrases like, in the Northland, harness the swift reindeer, bears cubs, to convey this message. Later in the poem, she uses imagery of boring into hard, dry wood, scarlet cap and black as coal to state the moral of the story. This poem is in the form of a ballad where usually the second and fourth lines in the stanza rhyme. The words few and through rhyme with each other whereas Northland and winter do not. So the rhyme scheme for this poem is a, B, C, B.